Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. I'm Shana Lynn. Welcome back or welcome to. Uh, normally I do a lot of craft and hobby things, but not today. Today we are reconstructing our New Year's resolution and what we wanna get done before the end of the year. Once I post this video, we will have 104 days left of 2024. And I think I need to rewire what I was thinking for my New Year's resolution. So, I don't think I have done a single thing on my New Year's resolution. Let's just start with that. Um, I'm not going to go back and see for today. I think I might do it sometime, but I'm really not that interested because I can tell that I am a different person than I was in January and... I just need to start anew. So I would like to invite you guys to come do this with me. We have a little more than three months to do something. Um, I want to just write, I think I need to sit down and focus on five things that I truly want to get done, truly want that will, I don't know, speak to my soul for this year and just focus on those five things. I also think that it will help because I didn't do this last time in January. I need to write those five things down somewhere where I can see them every day. Because in January, I wrote them down, I made my video, and complete. I don't even know right now what is even on, I think I know five things maybe that was on my list. So, I need to find somewhere where I can write it down, see it, and just get it in my brain. And I think the repetitiveness of seeing it over and over and over again will help me to um, carry it out. A lot of motivational things pop up on my TikTok a lot in my social media. So I love to listen to motivational things. I love to listen to someone else speak words to me because it's so common sense things that you hear, but it's like their delivery of it just changes your whole perspective. So I think that motivational speakers are great. I think motivational books are great. And if you think that's something that will help you get through the rest of this year and accomplish some of our goals that we want to accomplish, that we should do. Another tip that will definitely help me is to start small because I am one who tends to just go outrageous. I'm going to work out every single day this year and then I don't and then I get discouraged. There was a TikTok that popped up on mine. It said, get rid of the everyday language. It's not sustainable for you to do something every day and take as an example, say that you work out 29 days in a row, but for some reason on day 30, you couldn't work out. That is considered in your mind a failure, even though you've worked out 29 days straight and it should be a victory and you should be happy about it. But most of the time we see it as a failure. So we need to get rid of the everyday language and start with smaller goals. Something else is I want to slow down. I am going too fast in life and not living in the moment. A lot of anxiety comes from living in the past or living future situations that haven't even happened yet. If we are in the moment, if we are grateful, then there is a lot less anxiety. Uh, Gratitude journal would be a great place to start there if that's something that you struggle with. I definitely want to start one. Um, writing is just therapeutic in and of itself. So when you have gratitude plus you're writing it down, it's all kind of a therapeutic practice just combining those two together. That's something that has helped with me with cleaning and the chores because I don't like doing that kind of stuff. So it's really a struggle to get motivated, to get started, to get going. 
I either say, just do 10 minutes or just do the living room or I'll put a audio book on and that will help me get through it because I'm not focusing on the mundane vacuuming, picking up, I'm listening to something, it's distracting me and that helps a lot. And something that I have started saying to myself is help your future self. Help your future self. Instead of putting the dishes in and saying, I'll get to it later, get there and be like, let's help my future self and do the dishes right now. So then you just are doing little tasks throughout the day and you're not so overwhelmed when you get to the end of the day and you have a huge pile of dishes that you have to do. So I am ready for the end of the year. I hope you guys are too. I had some tips and tricks in there. I don't know how to even classify this video, <laughs> but let's get stuff done at the end of this year. And I hope you guys have a great day. I appreciate you and consider subscribing.